Hey ladies! Okay, so I'm back. Um, I'm feeling really good today. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I have been feeling a lot better lately. Um, and that's because I've gotten back on my diet. Um, and I've just, I don't know, I've, this time, you know, I had my little lapse when I went to Minnesota and just ever since I got back on my diet since then, I felt so good and just, yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what else to say about that, but um, I did want to talk about like how how I've been feeling lately, um, just because I think it's really encouraging to some people um, to know that like when I first started my diet, um, I feel I felt like it really wasn't working as fast for me as I wanted it to, um, and that's mainly because. I wasn't like hardcore, um, like for it. Like I don't know. I wasn't like. I can't think of like the words. The words will not come out today. Um, I I was all for it, but it was so hard to stick to it. And um, the change I noticed is when I started incorporating exercise into it. Um, I was losing weight just with my diet, um, but I didn't see a huge change until I started exercising. And a lot of people think like, oh, I have to go running and I have to, you know, run really fast. You know, I have to do like seven minute miles or something. You don't have to do that. Um, and people think, oh, I have to do, you know, weightlifting and I have to go to Zumba and I have to do all this and all that. And I, you know, I have to sign up for a a membership for a gym and you know it's you know a bunch of money and I know this because this is all the thoughts that went through my head um, I was like oh you know I don't have time to go to a gym and I don't have money to go to a gym and blah blah blah, blah. so um, I started walking instead and I you know and I the reason I started walking is because it kind of hit me um, that I used to walk all the time and I never realized how much I used to walk but I used to walk probably about 10 miles a day on average and that was just because I was 16, 17, um, I didn't get my license until I was 18 because of medical reasons um, and so when I finally got my license when I was 18 uh, I just drove everywhere and um, you know, my friends had cars when I was 16, 17, you know, and, but most of us, like, I had a group of friends that, um, we always hung out and there were more than five of us. And so, um, we all wouldn't fit in one car. So we'd just walk to the beach or we'd walk to my house or we walked to my friend's house or, you know, um, uh, me and my best friend, Amber, at the time we used to you know hang out constantly and we lived across town from each other and we'd like meet in the middle or I'd walk to her house or she'd walk to my house and um, you know that's when I was probably at my skinniest and I thought it was because I used to run um, and and eat better but I think back and I really didn't eat better I actually probably ate a lot worse and um, you know, I used to think, oh, it's just because I'm young. I have a high metabolism. I didn't think that walking really did that much for me, um, but it really, really does. And, you know, I'm a believer now, and that's because I started walking a lot. And um, I usually walk to Chris's work, which is about um, 3.8 miles. And then my best friend Mindy comes over and uh, at night, and we don't do this every night, but most nights, um, and then we walk laps around my house, which we usually do four laps, like that's just our common thing. But lately we've been bumping it up and doing five laps or six laps. Um, and four laps around my house is 2.4 miles, so, or sorry, 2.8. So it's 0.7 miles for one lap. 
And um, last night, or yesterday, I didn't walk to Chris's work. Um, so I, cause I just didn't have time. And so instead of walking to his work before my friend Mindy got here, um, I went and I walked four laps. So I was to walk to 2.8. So it was about a mile less, um, than walking to his work, but I still got my, my distance in. And the reason I walked more miles before she got here was because, you know, she can only come over for certain amounts of time because she, well, she comes over probably around 8.30 because she has a baby and she puts him to sleep and then she comes over, we go for a walk, and then, you know, she goes home. And uh, she comes out and hangs out during the day, but we don't usually walk around here during the day because it's been really hot lately. Um, we used to walk during the day, uh, but that was during, like, the spring and the winter and stuff when, it, when it's cooler outside. But, anyways, um, I have been averaging, um, the other day... I walked probably about a total of seven and a half miles or something like that. Um, and I burned about a thousand, eleven hundred calories. And that's a lot of calories to burn. And it took me probably, you know, it was split up so I didn't constantly walk. But I walked for about an hour and 45 minutes or so. Um, and so that was like the perfect amount of time I guess because I walked for an hour and then I walked for um, 45 minutes or yeah something like that anyways um, so yeah you know and this is when I started noticing most of my um, weight loss is after I started walking which duh you know I'm exercising so of course I'm gonna lose more weight um, but it's just, you know, for, for people who don't like to run or don't like to do intense workouts, which that's a lot of the times the problem. Um, like they don't like the feeling of sweating or something. Just walk. Um, I actually have a condition that I don't really sweat. I, it takes a lot of effort for me to sweat. Um, and like I used to, in school, I'd run the mile. And I, used, I got up to the point where I could run the mile in seven and a half minutes, which for those of you who don't know, that's actually pretty good. Um, and I still wouldn't sweat. Uh, and so it's just kind of always, I, I feel like I have like a plastic covering over me that's stopping wind from getting to me and stopping, you know, because sweat is what cools you off. So I just feel like, like I'm made of plastic or like I've got a plastic shell over me and just no breeze is getting to me um, and it just it's miserable um, but I, I do sweat sometimes when it's hot out like this and I walk to Chris's work I actually sweat a little bit um, and it really helps cool, cool me off but uh, but yeah so you know you still work up a sweat and don't just like walk like saunter around um, try and walk like a, a brisk walk I walk probably on average like 15 minutes for a mile which um, my GPS tracker thing on my phone my app I, it's called map my walk um, it says that I walk about 14 and a half minutes for a mile sometimes which I don't know if that's correct or not because that seems kind of fast or like 14 minutes for a mile that seems really fast but I don't know um, so anyways uh, I've been talking mainly about walking <laughs> but I, I don't know I kind of wanted to I wanted to talk about walking mainly and then also you know just how I've been feeling and kind of just encouragement because Last year, um, this time, I was looking for a dress online, and um, that's because every year Chris's work has a big party um, at this big fancy hotel, and everyone wears like prom dresses and evening gowns. Um, and I found a dress, and it's actually the one that um, you guys have seen me in pictures where I like pull it up to here, and it's like really big on me now. Um, it feels great, uh, but this time last year I was like almost in tears, you know, it's two months away, um, I measured myself and I'm just like, oh my gosh, you know, and the measurements, um, I took my measurements the other day and I've lost 10 pounds, 
uh, or not 10 pounds, 10 inches in my bust, um, 9 inches in my waist, and 10 inches in my hips since this time last year. And um, then at the company party, they always do pictures. You can go take like, like prom pictures essentially. And, um, I'm sorry. And Chris was like, oh yeah, let's go take pictures. And I'm like, oh, there's a really long line. I don't want to go stand in line and, and wait for him. So we'll wait until it dies down. And then I didn't remind him. And then about an hour later he goes, oh, they're not doing the pictures anymore. You know, it sucks. We missed it. I was like, oh darn, that sucks. Because I really didn't want my picture taken. Um, I bought this really beautiful dress and I thought that I was going to feel like a princess in it. And then I put it on and I just wanted to cover up. I wanted, I had, I'd worn a cardigan to um, my, or to the hotel because they buy a hotel room for all the full timers. Um, and I had worn, a, or rented out, I guess, but um, I had worn a cardigan that day and I wanted to run upstairs and go put it on because I felt huge. I felt like this giant blue blimp and I didn't want my picture taken. I don't have any pictures of me wearing it um, and I don't have any pictures from that night except for pictures of Chris in a tux um, because I just felt miserable. I thought I was so fat and gross and I didn't want anything to do with that night. Actually no, I lied. I do have pictures of that night but it was like from here up because they had photo booths there as well. Um, but yeah, it was just, ugh, oh my gosh. And this year I'm so excited because I'm down, I think, let's see, eight dress sizes now since I from where I was last year and um, I actually still fit into that dress in April and so I'm down eight dress sizes since April and that feels amazing and so uh, I, I don't know I've been looking at dresses online and I know I've been saying that I want to wear one of my old prom dresses um, which I'm dangerously close to fitting into my orange one, which was my goal. Um, but I think I might get a new one. Um, I've been looking at some online and they're just gorgeous. And you know, I'm a different person, I have a different style. And so I think my goal is to be able to fit into one of those prom dresses by then. But I think I'm going to wear a different one. Um, my mom actually offered, I don't know, well, she she didn't buy my prom dresses. I bought my prom dresses when I was in school. So um, she wants to buy me a dress this year to not not necessarily make up for that, but um, you know she wants to go shopping with me and buy a prom dress and all that, uh, or not a prom dress, a, a dress for the company party. Um, but anyways, so you know she's kind of talked me into getting a new dress, and I'm liking the idea more and more. So I'm going to try and fit into that size dress that I was um, for my prom so I can wear the same size dress. It doesn't have to be the same dress though, I decided. Um, but yeah, so it's just like the f when I realized that I lost, that I'm down eight dress sizes, I feel amazing. Um, and so, yeah, I just wanted to share that. I want everybody to feel this way. Like, all of you ladies that haven't started your diets or that have started but failed. Well, I wouldn't say failed because you always have another opportunity just because you didn't follow it to the T once and you gave up doesn't mean that there's not another opportunity. Um, so, you know, all of you ladies that have tried not succeeded, I guess, or haven't, this time hasn't worked out for you try and try and try again. I've gone on so many diets um, trying to lose weight and I just finally stuck with it and you know and you know even if you lose weight slowly um, it's still weight lost you know and a year from now you're gonna you know if you don't if you don't start your diet and you don't do your diet you're gonna be sitting there thinking oh 
I wish I started a year ago. And, you know, if you keep putting it off and putting it off and putting it off, that's more time that you're just going to be miserable and not feel good and, you know, think that you can't do it. Wouldn't it be feel great to look back a year from now and just be like, wow, I've come so far, I feel awesome. I think that would be great to do. Um, and I can't wait until next year when I've lost even more weight and my symptoms are pretty much gone. You know, they're even pretty much gone now. Um, it's been a while since I've had pain, um, which I'm not exactly sure what the pain is caused by. My doctor said that it's caused by, um, oh, what's it called? Um, like fluid from the cysts being where it's not supposed to be. Um, so I don't know if that's true, but um, it's been a long time since I've had pain uh, from my cysts. It's been a long time or, you know, I've been losing weight. I've had my period for four months in a row. Um, you know, I've just been feeling great and I'm less tired. I still have my, my days where I'm tired and don't f want feel like doing anything. But, um, but I've been feeling great lately and I want everyone to feel like that. I want you guys to be able to look back and be like, I can't believe I was there a year ago and I can't believe I didn't do this sooner. And I'm kind of kicking myself for not doing it sooner. So um, I'm actually going to post a couple more before and after pics. I'm going to try and find some before pictures. If not, I'll probably use one of my old ones that I have um, that I've shown already. But I do want to show progress and show you guys my progress. So um, yeah, I'm going to post some more on my Facebook. So go look. And I will see you guys soon. I'll be making another video soon. Okay, bye.